Welcome to Show Me Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to talk all about add ins. What are they? How can they help you? And how do you get them installed in Word? And of course, how can you remove them if you don't want to use them anymore? So let's get started. If you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So let's start by talking about what is an add in. Well, an add in is a piece of software that you can install into Word and it should add to the functionality or the usefulness of Word. So it should add something extra, as the name suggests. Now, add ins can be to a particular program. So in this case, we're going to do add ins for Word, but you can do similar things for PowerPoint and for Excel, um, a Publisher, and so forth. So in this demo, though, I'm just going to concentrate on Word, but you'll see it's similar in other programs. So the first thing I'm going to do is install a new add in. Let's see how that works. So I've got a new blank document here. And the bit you need to go to is insert. And then you've got your ribbon at the top here. And the one you're looking for is get add-ins. So if you click get add-ins, it opens up the add-in store. So now we're in the add-in store. You can see there's lots of apps here. As I scroll down just quickly, just to give you an idea. And you can see what you've got is the title of the add-in. You've got a short description and it tells you whether there's kind of in-app purchases, uh, the equivalent of that. So some of these you might have to pay to use certain aspects of the add-in, but normally it tells you really clearly about that. And at the bottom you've got a star rating so you can see how popular it is, which is always useful to know because you want to just be aware that those with a high star rating are obviously going to be better than those with a single star rating. So again, down the left, you've got some um, filters so that you can reduce that long list and you can sort up here. These are suggested for you, but equally you can go by rating and by name if you wish to. So the one I'm going to install is called Pexels. So I happen to know it's a search one and when I click on it, I've got my list here and going down to Pexels. So Pexels is basically an image library. It has stock photos that you can use for free in your presentations. So it's really useful to have. You won't run into copyright issues. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a quick look. I can see it's what I want. I'm going to click here on the Add button. And you can see I've got a licensing agreement and whether I'm agreeing for Microsoft to share my information. I'm going to click Yes and then click Continue. And you can see here, Word is telling me that I've got this Pexels option here. So how would I use this add-in? Well, let's say I want to find a picture with the Empire State Building. Now I could go on Google, of course, and look at the images, but you'll find that many of those are actually copyrighted and therefore I could get into a bit of bother if I use those without the correct permission. But Pexels, I'm allowed to use their images. So once I do that, I'll click on Pexels and you can see I get this panel come up on the side. So let's say I want to type in, I want to find things about the Empire State Building because that's what my document's going to be about. I just simply type it in and now I've got all of Pexels images. You can see there's quite a few relating to the Empire State Building. So let's say I like this one. All I do is literally click on it, wait for a few moments because it's going to be downloaded from the internet and now my picture's inserted into the Word document as a standard picture. If I want to insert another one, of course, I can go down a little bit and then say, okay, I like this one, click on it, and you can see it's inserted into the document, and I could do all the things I would normally do with a picture. So you can see I've got all the normal options here, so if I wanted to make it smaller, I could just drag it down, I could put board around it for instance and all the normal things you could do with standard pictures okay if I want to go and put a different sort of picture I can go back and search for another one if I had enough of pixels because I want to go and start doing some uh, typing I could just close that and the window goes away okay so let's say I've had enough pixels all together and I find it's an add-in I don't like and I don't want to use well if I want to get rid of it I'm going to go back to insert and then you can see there's get add-ins we clicked on before but i actually want my add-ins so click on my add-ins you can see i've got a list of all the add-ins i've got access to that are actually installed and pexels is the one that i might want to get rid of because that's the one that i've just showing you so i click on the three dots and i can look more information i can review it or i can remove it 
So I'm going to remove it. I just click on it. So it's show you want to remove. Yep, I'm going to remove and it's gone. So you can see there, it was very simple to get rid of any add-ons that I don't like. So a couple of things just to bear in mind when you're using add-ins. One is just be careful with how many you put in. It's very tempting to get a bit uh, carried away with the add-in store if you've not seen it before and add loads and loads of add-ins that you don't actually really need. And it will slow down how long Word takes to load and also it will have an effect on how quickly Word works on your computer. So if you've got lots of add-ins in, it can slow things down. So just be a bit careful with how many add-ins you put in. Second of all, occasionally add-ins tend to crash, particularly when Word loads. So when Word loads, it loads in all the add-ins in the background. And so sometimes it will give you an error message and it will say, do you want to disable this add-in? Well, if you're finding that Word's crashing a lot when you've installed a certain add-in, then that's normally a good idea. If you want to see which of those add-ins have caused a problem, there's actually a space if you go to File, Info, then you've got this option down here, which is Slow and Disabled uh, Com Add-ins. And if you click on that, it will tell you, for instance, this one, OneNote Linked Notes Add-in, it's disabled because it was um, taking too much time. So I can disable it temporarily or disable it permanently, or I can decide to switch it back on. So if you've got an error message and Windows is off to disable it, you can agree to disable it and then get it back through these options. So hopefully you found this quick tour of Word add-ins useful. I recommend you spend a bit of time going through and looking at all the add-ins for Word, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, and any other Office programs that you use. You'd be surprised at some of the useful ones that are there. Also, if you find any particularly useful add-ins, you might put a comment below just to help other people out. And if you've got any questions, as always, you can pop them into the comment box. This has been Show Me Tech Tips. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel if you found this useful. And I look forward to catching up with you all soon.